And yesterday, the city county health department reported 11 new cases of the novel coronavirus. And as I just mentioned today, reporting three new cases, but also going up in the area are the number of people monitoring the spread of the virus. Our Rudy Trevino reports. We made a request uh, for contact tracers, you know, to assist us, thinking that maybe we would be lucky if we got them in the fall. Well, we actually got them, uh, I want to say, a week ago. Contact tracers, a new term in this age of COVID-19, a term that describes exactly that. Individuals whose sole job it is to track down anyone who's come in contact with someone diagnosed as being COVID-19 positive. The City County Health District contact tracers team of 14 added an additional nine from the state for a total of 23. They're coming out of ag life and so uh, we've trained them. They've also gone through the John Hopkins uh, contact tracing course uh, and they'll go through the state course as well. And those courses guide the contact tracers to learn what to ask and what to look out for. Tracking down not only individuals who may have come in contact with the virus, but where and when. There was 11 cases yesterday, but you know, there was zero on Saturday and zero on Sunday. And so we started them to contact tracing. And so that way we can do some competency checks to make sure they're getting the venues. They're getting, you know, uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult now that everything's opening back up because people are going to a lot of different places versus staying at home. Tracking each individual is no easy task. Take, for example, yesterday's reported 11 cases. Where are these numbers coming from? Any idea? Well, you know, we know that two of them are coming from one of the halfway houses, Avalon. So, um, but I don't know on the other ones. You know, we just got them yesterday, so we sent them to the contact tracer. One of them was from Port A. You know, Port A seemed to know quite a bit about the individual. It's a small community, so they knew that, you know, uh, they had uh, traveled with a large group. With more contact tracers, Rodriguez says the accuracy of the numbers will improve, giving us a better picture of where the virus is and how it's being spread. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.